first thing you want to consider is the purpose. Um, and you want to be thinking about, are you looking for wind protection? Are you looking for snow protection? Um, are there areas where you need access so that you don't want to uh, put snow there? You can't make snow drifts go away. All you can do is move them. So what you're doing with a, a windbreak is, when you're dealing with snow is you're simply moving the snow drift from where you don't want it to some place where you can tolerate it. So you want to be thinking about that. You want to be thinking about all the functions you want in your windbreak. Uh, many people want uh, not only protection from the wind, but they want to see wildlife. So then you want to select the species that are going to be uh, good for the wildlife in your area. You want to be thinking about what's there. Um, obviously, if you put in species that are going to be good for grizzly bears, probably in most of Wyoming you're not going to attract very many grizzly bears. But think about the birds that are in the area. Um, think about the songbirds that you may want to bring in. Think about the opportunities for birds to nest. Um, remember, you're the one that's going to look at this uh, windbreak for the next 40 some odd years. So make sure you select trees that, you, that are attractive to you. But it's also important that you select trees that are going to survive. There's lots of them that uh, we find very attractive but may not survive, particularly in our windy areas and in some of our more xeric sites where it's going to be very dry. So the conservation districts can give you very good information, very good advice on what trees are going to survive. So what you want to do is co combine them with trees that are going to survive and thrive with trees that, are, uh, that you like. If you're allergic to a tree, it may be a great windbreak tree, but why spend uh, part of your life uh, being uh, having allergy problems. So um, that's what you want to be thinking about. And th with the purpose, um, if you want uh, wind protection and, and you uh, don't worry that much about snow, you can move it closer in. If you're worried about snow, um, you can uh, again design it with different species that will trap the snow that may not give you that much wind protection.